bout scheduled for six rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 321.4 pounds. Wearing maroon trunks with black and gold trim. His record, six victories with only one defeat. Three of those victories coming by way of knockout. From Apia, Samoa. And representing South Auckland, New Zealand, Patrick Magic Manata! <laughs> Introducing out of the red corner, he weighed in at 265.4 pounds, wearing black trunks with red and white trim. His record is perfect, six fights, Six victories, all six victories coming by way of knockout from Des Moines, Iowa, Antonio Elegante Mirelle. Antonio, right here looking at me, right here, looking at me, right here looking at me. Talks a good mouthpiece, mouthpiece, feet up. Extremely high. This is the line where he can get hit at. Don't say ain't gonna change his angle. No. All right, I gave you both construction. I just want to remind you. Listen and follow my commands all the time. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. World class referee Jack Reese has never looked so small. Joe Tessitore ringside with Tim Bradley and Andre Ward. We've got a spectacular co feature set to come your way in moments with Estrada and Rupert. We got Ramirez and Comey. But we start, Trey, with 6'9", 265 against 6'6", 321. Yes, yeah, big boys in different ways, one in height and one in thickness and girth. <laughs> and uh, Morales has been bumped up to the televised portion of this car. More pressure, but a good opportunity. Oh, yeah, when you say more pressure, a lot more nerves. Morales ran to the ring during the ring walk. A raw developing prospect. He's only been a pro for a year and a half. His debut was in October of 2021. Well, speaking of Morales in a fighter meeting, you know, one of the things that I pointed out to him in his last last time out was is that he needs to learn how to keep his stop, distance. Stop, you know, stop. you have that Let height, you have that range, you have good footwork. Box. Use your reach and your height. And he said he really worked on that discount. He's going to need it against Melada because Melada's just looking for one big shot. He landed it uh, a little bit earlier in this round, and he's going to be looking for more of those shots, typically the overhand right. Southpaw left hand to the body. Comes from Morellis. Morellis was a Golden Gloves champion in 2019. Won the gold in the heavyweight division in the U.S. Olympic trials. Won the trials but was an alternate for the 2020 Olympic boxing qualifiers so he said you know enough with the amateur thing let me turn pro what's catching my eye is the, the hand placement of Morales you know usually you want your gloves to be turned kind of sideways and you want your, your thumbs kind of pointed towards you he has his thumbs pointed out He's looking to catch shots, but the thing is, when he throws his punches, he's not turning. He don't. He's not turning his punches over at all from that position. See, when you shoot a punch, you want to turn your wrist at the last second before the punch actually lands. His wrist is stop, already stop, turned. Stop, stop. My break. You think of it as like snapping a whip, and yes. that phrase you'll often hear trainers say, turn it over. Those last three knuckles right at the last moment, just snapping. But his fist already turned over. Yep. So big guys get the night started here with the developing Morellis against the 320 pounder Patrick Melata. Our women's unification bout will be coming up next, and then it is Jose Ramirez and Richard Comey. Of course, Bernardo Asuna and Mark Kriegel will be joining in the conversation. Joe, Tim, and Gray here ringside as we've been here many times now at the Save Mart Center in Fresno, California. For Ramirez, this and his daughter Catalina to now locking in, earbuds are in, jump rope is going, getting that sweat, and preparing for a critical fight 
against the former IBF lightweight world champion Richard Comey. That'll be our main event tonight. Round number two among our heavyweights here. Melada is not going to push the pace and control the pace and try to win rounds. He just wants to land one big shot. It's gonna, the burden is on Morellas to control this fight and to win this fight spectacularly. Morellas has never been past the second round. He's three first round knockouts, three second round knockouts. He's been in against very limited competition. Yeah, I would consider this fight a, a step up for him. That's the shot you was talking about, Drake. That right hand right there. Petite, right petite, on the chin. Yeah, Melada, he's just, he's a, he's a tight, you know, he's thick, and he doesn't have the build to throw a lot of punches, bit, but he's explosive in short spaces, meaning if he sees a shot, he'll try to take it, and that's what Morellis has to look out for. And it's the right hand. You know, when you're fighting against a southpaw, Morellis is, you want to you wanna throw stop, your right stop, hand. That's the punch you want to out. look to land. A lot of just bull rushing to the inside, but didn't throw a punch in doing so. Now Morell's falling forward. Those dead spots, Morellis needs to be pumping that jab, that right jab. He needs to be throwing it because my Melado is a Good shot. Melada gets to the inside and throws a three-punch combination that's it, that's it, before Morellis ties before up. Before his size, he's so explosive, Melada. 6'6", 321 pounds. Samoan born, then moved to New Zealand, lived majority of his life there. And more recent years was in Utah and now lives in Las Vegas. He's like a running back. <laughs> he's like a running back, a big old running back, a fullback, 10 yards at a time. And he's like a big pulling he guard. Just, you know, we got former Fresno sprint. State head coach Pat Hill standing right behind, right behind us, us who <laughs> said, hey, you could have been a good <laughs> running back for me back in the day, but I think Melada would have been a pulling guard for him. Might have been, but I'm just saying, just that explosive step, that first step is quick. And then he sits back and he recharges again. And Morellis Melata. allows him to. Exactly. He allows him to. And what's going to happen is he's going to allow Melada to keep coming. And one of those shots are going to get through. And he's having some success here on the inside stop, train. Stop. Round my number break, two break. is Melada. Melada shoots in the right window to get inside on Morellis. And he's fighting at his pace. Yes. So better work from Patrick Melada here in round number two. Scheduled for six are heavyweights. Antonio Morella, six foot nine, six and zero oh heavyweight, six foot nine, sitting there with an eighty-five inch reach. You know, we were asking this week, for sizing him up, has made a lot of fine success again, and now just wide swinging on the inside against Morella. Work at him. Let him go, guys. Work we were talking out. about the reach of Morella. Dre, you said he's got to use it more, but size up that reach right, in terms stop, of stop. My great, my great, the other big men in boxing is the same reach as the heavyweight champ of the world, Tyson Fury, 85 inches. Yeah, he can have 90 inches, Tess. He just doesn't know how to use it. Exactly. And look at the success that yeah. Melada continues to have. Yes, he, he's allowing that shorter stop, arm man, stop, the stockier points, man, to just explode with big shots as often as he wants to, and there's nothing that's stopping Melada from doing that. A good right jab will be a good start for Morellis, but Melada has gotten a rhythm, he's gotten a groove, and he's able to get those shots off. Morellis allows Melada to rest, and then he comes right back charging in, stop. just like you see right stop. there. Step back, both of you step back away from each other. Then Morellis steps. doesn't have good feet either. He doesn't have quick feet. You know, he's kind of planted, submitted to the ground. Now, now Valley attacking back, a right? short right hand lands from Morellis. Melada's trying to draw him in. He's fine. All right, stop. My break, my break. Those shots didn't stop have out. very much on him at all from Morellis. Mostly arm punches. And Melada's watching the whole time saying, open up, open up, so I can land my shot. Look, Morellis is trying to get some hit back, man. That's what he's trying to do. You know, he's constantly battling, battling the fact that he's a big guy and he needs to fight out, fight out and use his range. But he wants to fight like a small man. He doesn't mind mixing it up inside the pocket. I don't think he knows any other way. And that's not a bad thing in a sense. I mean, it's, it's okay to fight in the pocket. You're going gonna to have moments where you need to fight in the pocket. But for the most part, he don't belong in the pocket against Malata. 
Morales trying to work behind that jab, trying to place that left power hand. One headshot did Nobody come punched. in. My brain. Ooh, he slapped him in the back. Did you hear that? <laughs> These are the, trying to place that right hand right yeah, these are the lows that you typically see big heavyweights fight at there's an explosion and then they they step back they need 15 20 30 seconds to regroup and then they exchange again. Ooh. sends it back looks for the left oh and a short right hand scores the knockdown three four five six seven eight are you good yeah. you want to continue what, blood from me, the nose the of blows. the unbeaten oh, antonio back, morellis and that's how round three closes out. Knockdown scored by the 321 pound Patrick Melana. When he gets attacked, he always leans towards his back foot. So this time, you saw Melata loop the right hand as he was leaning on that back foot trying to get away and clipped him high on the head. And then you start to start seeing the stanky legs. It's just a matter of time before Melata gets another shot in there. And you see Morellis trying to keep Melata back with some picking, poking shots, some prodding type of shots. But unless he lands something that gets respect, this fight won't last Nobody much punch. longer. Step away. A lot is just trying to get that perfect shot through. Round four scheduled for six. There's a left hand that comes in. And some head movement by Morales. Just okay. trying to stay safe, not tying up. Okay. Left hand comes to the body, and then he gets rid of him. I like the instincts, though. I mean, he knows he needs to move his head. Yep. A good job right there from Morales right there. Sure, Able Lata. to survive that offensive assault from if the big If one man. of those shots landed. <laughs> Dre hit me on the arm like, ooh. I can feel the breeze. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, good ooh. shot right there from Morales. And that works behind the jab with a one-two. Big six-foot-nine southpaw. Now you're seeing the technique come through for Morales now. As he's on the attack, backing up Melata, who plants a body shot with the left hand with his back against the ropes. It may not be pretty, but it is action. He's giving up his height, Tess. Melada's not Good head shot from Morellis. Melada's still looking. He's looking for that window. He's looking for a shot. Right hook comes in. Sweeping right hand comes back. Return fire. Morellis with an offensive attack as Melata had his back right, against the ropes. Look, you can't say Morales is not brave. He is brave. He's standing there and trading. Oh, he's got hard. Yes, After he being does. Hurt in the last round. Up off the deck Don't here to come back in round four. He's got heart for sure. Made a lot about him. Look, look this right hand. He's waiting on it. He's fatigued right he now. He is fatigued. He's fatigued. Now look at his head. Now look at his head. <laughs> He is gassed here as he falls forward to tie up. A big round for Antonio Morellis. See Milata's head movement right there. Took a page out of Morales' book. Started moving his head. Getting away from them punches. Closing moments of round four. Milata landed the big shot in round three, but took some here in round four. Gonna take us to the local hero. They visited there, donated a thousand tickets as well as big checks. Round five of six of our entertaining heavyweights. Antonio Morellis, 6-0 with six knockouts. The six foot nine taller fighter in the black trunks. He was down in round three. He came back big against Melada in round four. And now on the attack here to open up round five is Morellis. Good shot from both fighters right there. Good oh, shot. sweeping shot comes in from Melada. As Morellis opened up, he landed a big uppercut comes in. How did Morellis stand up to that? Hard. Hard, Tess. 
Now, this is when Morales wants to step on the gas and press Maylotta because yes. he needs a rest right now. Yes. He needs a breather. Morales can't allow him to have it. Yes, he's putting himself in harm's way, but it's the only it's shot. A safe time to do it. That he can do it and try to try to win this fight. Yes. Even that short clubbing right hand nearly sent him off balance. That was to the top of the head. That hurt. Bro, did you see him sit down? Yes. Like, he dropped his hips and knees and everything to sit down on that punch. Put all his weight into it, and that's 321 pounds. A lot of pushing Morales back. Pushing Morales back. Look at the legs. Pushing him back on his back legs. May not right, seem stop. like my much, break, but it's so draining. My break, my it it wears up. you down. Say, stop, you Takes stop. your legs from you. And the balance. I mean, six rounds to these heavyweights is going to feel like old school 15 back oh, yeah. in the day. Today. Oh, yeah. Mouth wide open on Melada. They might need oxygen after this. They both have eaten big shots. There's that southpaw jab from Morellis. 6 and 0. Oh. Melada looking for air. But he's still explosive and he still has power on the shots. He's looking for that. He's looking for the right hand. That's what he's looking for. He's looking to place it again on the chin this time of Morales. Mike Ray, Mike Ray. Come on, fellas. Come on, let's go. Man, what heart does Morales have? Because he's still gotten hit with some big shots and he's still standing. Ooh, another big shot right there. You hear that thud. Yeah, but what it seems that when Morales Lee lets his hands go, that's go his Patrick, defense. But the, the problem is he gets a little bit too greedy in there. And Stays he throws a little too many punches. Long. Exactly. It's like get guys, off, run your combination, right, stop, and stop, then move on. Stop. And then do it again. He was looking for that right uppercut as Morales crossed that threshold. Stop. Coming punch. to the end of round stop, number stop, five. Stop, the stop, final stop, round stop, among these big men who have been brawling when we... Six, last round. Last round. Come here. Sellout crowd Come here on. at the Save Mart Center in Fresno, here. California. Six and final round Touch with our up. heavyweights that Go get this portion of the evening started. Joe Tessitore, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward with you ringside. We go from these heavyweights with a combined weight of 586 pounds to then a world championship unification bout where we will have a combined 210 pounds. That's next with Sinisa Superbad Estrada and Tina Ruprecht. The Long shot right left there. hand. Was it hard, but it was accurate and on the money. But Dre, he needed to take more it. advantage down of down being down. long range with the jab in the left hand throughout the night. Yes, he, he should have. And when he, when he has done that, he's had plenty of success, but he's always in danger of getting countered by a big right hand. For Bellata. Because he sits in front. He sits in front too long. He sits there and he admires his words. And that's the problem with Morales. You got to get your offense off right, and you got to turn the corners. Go separate. left or right. Pick up your feet. I didn't expect Morales to be standing after that the round that he got hurt in. I didn't expect it. There's that one two again. Both of you guys, let's pull your arms out. Both of you guys. All right, stop. stop. Jack Reese, the referee, break. encouraging him to work out of these spots. The third and fourth round was wild action between these two, and they were far more gassed than the fifth. And now Morell is showing that he has more left in the tank. Yes, he is. And that's what I'm talking about. His offense right now is taking the place of taking care of the defense him out. for him. Right, stop. My break. Separate. And see, that was a smart move right there for Morales tying up. Remember, he's never been the distance. Six knockouts to six wins. He's never been past the second round. Nevada's pace is well off of where he was earlier through 49 punches in round number four. He's throwing 11 stop, punches stop here punches, in this stop round. Moving. Let each other out. Nevada's just fatigued. He is. It's hard for him to muster up enough energy to throw a meaningful right shot Patrick, right that could possibly go, get Morales out of here. I'm sorry, uh, oh, D'Antonio, you're right on. Let him out. Both hands, let him go. Your hands are free, I fellas. never listen to the referee in those kind of situations. <laughs> <laughs> when they tell you to move an arm or stop, do stop, the stop, attack, stop, no, stop, no, stop. no. I will choose to do what I do with my arms. Yeah, you got to right. make you earn your money tonight. 
That's just the way it is. <laughs> good shot right good there. Good body shots right there. Oh, good oh, shot. Right oh. hand comes in from Elada. All right, stop. My break. Stop. Stop. That's it. Stop. I think the crowd should appreciate what, what they just saw a little bit Some more. The He's a big guy. So That's what they punches. want. That's what they want. They want you to continue to fi fire on each other and bomb on each other and hurt each other. Maywada came in with an uppercut. Six rounds in the books. It wasn't pretty. It was entertaining. As Morellis was down in round number three, but then rallied back in round number four. Uppercut right there for a finish. I can't believe my friend like this. Took some of those shots. I, man, I know. I, he still I got stuck looking at the uppercut. I was like, oh my God. I did not think he would uppercut. survive the next round. I didn't think he would. He, if he's got nothing else, he's got heart, determination, and grit. Respect and, to him and size. <laughs> and size. And reach. <laughs> Fifty-eight punches in two-minute rounds in her last timeout. Let's hear how the judges have it. This could be curious with the way yep. things went down the stretch with Morales, even though he was knocked down. Here's Marcia. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, after six rounds here inside the Save Barn Center, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Jerry Cantu has the bout 57-56 in favor of Melata. Dr. Lou Moret scores the bout 57-56 in favor of Mireles. Steve Morrow has the bout 57-56 for your winner by split decision. Antonio El Gigante Mireles. So Mireles wins by split decision even with Melana scoring the knockdown in round three. And if you consider the fact that he likely won the first, the fourth undoubtedly, the fifth and the sixth, and then an eight, a 10 8 round for Melana in the third, a 10 9 round for Melana in the second, you can understand how the split decision did indeed go his way. Well, coming up next, she grew up in East.